365 days of clay cups. I'm going to start out real quick. We're going to, first of all, you already know what you're going to see because of the top. 121 and 122 are the cups I'm going to share with you today. But I had a thought on my brain, and I'm going to try to say this really fast. I've made this clip a couple times, and it's gone on way too long. But um, <clears throat> a few weeks ago, I did an interview a written interview for an Italian blog, ceramicnews.it, and they translated it into Italian, posted it on the blog. Someone commented today, and it really made me think. Um, it, it, it said the question, uh, well, they stated, I say it's a hobby, but isn't it becoming more of a job? And I thought, <clears throat> no, but it is a lot of work to do this, but that doesn't mean it's a job. I think to me, for me, a job would be something that I um, am required to do. It's something that I have to do to either create money or revenue, or, um, but you can love your job. This isn't a job though. I don't make anything doing this. <laughs> Just for the sheer fact that I'm, I, I gain a lot though. You know how that, you don't have, let's say you don't have a lot of money, but you're wealthy. Yeah, I've gotten a wealth of information just by doing the project. So, um, anyway, I just wanted to share that. I'm a hobby to me is something you do for fun, whether uh, you sell a few things or now I'll tell you. I am, I did start an Etsy site, and the only reason I did that is because I'm going to need some clay and I want some oxides, and I don't want to take my family's money to do it. So uh, I'm just going to sell a couple things that I've made. I'm not making a boxing shipping company out of this. I'm just going to um, sell some things that are on my shelf that I made extra so that I can buy some more clay and play with more. So hope you guys have been enjoying the videos. Um, it is a project. It does take time and it's not easy. The cups get behind because I'm basically doing other parts of the project like taking pictures of cups. That took a whole day to do. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm doing the project because I love it and I'll remain a hobby potter because the second I'm not a hobby potter, then it becomes a job, and I don't want that. So, uh, hope you guys are enjoying. Thought I'd clear that up, and ready to get started.
basically saw what I tried to do, and this is actually off a, a strip I cut off of cup number um, one, what was it? You'll see it in a second. I think it was 120, what number am I on? Uh, cup number 122. It's not what I want to do. Ugh. That is ugly. bring it in without collapsing it. I want it to be big enough for soup, but still be a cup and not a bowl. I'm finding my cups shrink more than I... I mean, they're the size I want them to be when I make them. Instead of making them a little larger, when I throw them. It's pretty okay on that. it and make sure the little just kind of slice it and there's my two and I always roll it because I figure clay has memory right so I just roll it out from there first I need to flatten the bottom do. I'm, I'm sitting here. I have a really fat handle, which is actually quite cool.
Okay, that's it for cup number 121 and 122. Here's cup number 121. Had some challenges with the handle, and I am just really hoping that this handle sticks. Um, it's a thinner handle. I really like how it looks, so I'm going to put it back in my, my wet box and let it dry real slow instead of sticking it up on my shelf right there because it's hot today, which is great. Um, anyway, 121, and here is 122. That'll be an interesting handle, and um, yeah, it doesn't touch, so I go like that, and it's still, it doesn't touch the bottom, but the, the, I like that it looks like a bowl, but it's really going to be a soup, it's going to be a soup cup, and I'm glad of that, so I'm going to, uh, you probably won't see it even in the picture, but when this, when this sets up a little bit more, and I'm sure that this is not going to fall off, I'm going to clean up these edges and, and make them look a little bit nicer, but hope you enjoyed today's clip. Any questions or comments or, or remarks that you have to what I said earlier in the beginning of the clip would be really appreciated, and we will talk to you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching.